Hmm. How do I start this? Um. Knock, knock, let the devil in. Again. Oh, hi, everybody. Um, it's me. That was a really cool cat. It should be. Hi, everybody. Uh. Uh. Hi, everyone. Um, it's me, Grant, the movie and TV guy. Hello. And, uh, yes, this shirt does not fit very well. And, yes, I am going to take it off the second this camera stops rolling. Uh. <laughs> but, uh, movies and TV is what we do here. And I'm Grant, the movie and TV guy. And what are we talking about? Well, a movie that is anticipated a lot in a lot of circles, um, and that is, uh, Venom, or as you, or if you will, Venom, Let There Be Carnage. And yes, the line, Let There Be Carnage, is in the film, um, it is directed by Andy Serkis, that, yes, that Andy Serkis, yeah, Ulysses Claw directed a Marvel movie that's not with the MCU, that's kind of interesting, um, and, uh, this is the sequel to 2000, 2018's Venom, uh, which was directed by Ruben Fleischer. He's back as an executive producer. Tom Hardy is a story writer on this film. And this is um, only 90 minutes long, which is interesting. Um, uh, does it hold up to the first one? Is it better? Is it worse? Let's find out. So what is it about first off and who's involved? Well, um, picking up, I think, like a little, relatively shortly after Venom. It's in maybe roughly a year. Um, uh, Eddie Brock is uh, still a reporter. Um, he's kind of raised the ire, though, of a police detective who is becoming a little suspicious of the fact that, you know, cataclysmic things such as a certain shuttle explosion seem to happen whenever he's around, and he's still harboring, um, the parasitic, uh, alien symbiote known as Venom, who's also voiced by Tom Hardy in a slightly growlier tone, um, and Venom is now, um, despite the seeming, um, truce they had at the end of the first film after they bit the head off that robber and said, we are Venom, is simply this, um, is, um, well, it's Trouble in Paradise, let's see, for the greatest uh, bromance ever. Um, Venom wants to eat people, because that's what Venom's, you know, Venom's be doing. Uh, Eddie Brock doesn't want Venom to eat people, and that soon leads to trouble, but unfortunately they're gonna have to, and they end up taking some time apart. Um, but unfortunately, uh, their time apart will be short-lived, because, um, as the first film's post credit scene set up so perfectly... Um, uh, Cletus Cassidy, a notorious serial killer, played by Woody Harrelson, um, bites, um, the hand of Eddie Brock and, um, says, I've tasted blood, that's not it, and sure enough, on the day of his execution by lethal injection, he transforms into another symbiote known as Carnage. Um, and he is, so now, um, Venom's gonna have to eat some people, and along the way, uh, Venom and Eddie get some help from their old pals, um, Anne... Um, her boyfriend, Doctor, I forget his name. He's really funny. He's played by Reed Scott. I don't know. Um, maybe that detective, and also, um, Mrs. Chen, uh, and, uh, they're gonna have to hurry because, uh, Cletus Cassidy, um, is ready for a very purely red wedding with his beloved, uh, Shriek, played by Naomi Harris. It's a race against time and against villains, as well as a dogged detective to save the world from their evil plot. I'm going to come right out with this. Um, I did like the first Venom. Um, I liked it a lot. Um, for what it was, I thought that the PG-13 rating kind of neutered it. But otherwise, um, it was it was, it was was fun. It leaned into uh, the silliness of it pretty well. Um, Tom Hardy, of course, is terrific. He gives his all to everything. Michelle Williams was also kind of fun. And luckily, uh, Venom, Let There Be Carnage, um, has everything that first didn't had and more, with a slightly shorter runtime somehow. Um, it is better than the first film, by quite a, li a wide margin, and I think the reason why is, first off, Andy Serkis is film directing of it, and also, it's a comedy. Um, Tom Hardy said in an interview with the AV Club, this is essentially Marvel's The Odd Couple, and it really is. Uh, this is a bromantic story. You know, the tale is all this time, a guy whose greatest love is the parasite that is literally infecting his body. But it works, and the two of them together really do make a fun um, character dynamic, and they lean into the cartooniness. Um, there's scenes where he's kind of moving Eddie like a puppet to have him draw clues to catching uh, uh, the evil Mr. Cassidy. We also have um, some fun where Venom has taken a liking to Anne and is trying to convince him to get her back, but of course she's engaged to um, Dr. 
I feel really bad that I forgot this character's name, but he's really good in the movie, and he gets a little more screen time in this one. Um, it's a lot of fun. Um, they're saying they're underusing Michelle Williams. I don't think so. I think she, she's not in the movie a lot, but she's really fun in the movie and gets some of the bigger laughs in the film, especially in a scene involving um, uh, flirting with Venom. We'll just say that. Uh, flirting of a sort with Venom. Um, all right, and uh, there's not much more to say. I will say this. I gave Venom three and a half stars. I'm going to bump Venom, let there be carnage up. I'm going to give Venom, let there be carnage. Four out of five stars. This is totally worth walking two bucks for, especially in IMAX. You're in and out. It's relatively quick. The shorter runtime actually does benefit this movie. It's really well paced. It's fun. It never slows down. It never once lulls. It starts right at the beginning and it never stops. Um, all the way up to, well, pretty cool surprise that we'll get to. I want to warn, um, the end of this video is going to contain slight spoilers. So, involving a certain sequence. Um, all right. But yeah, Venom Let There Be Carnage gets four and a half, or four rather, out of five stars. I can't even go fully there, but it's really good. Um, a lot of fun. All right, let's close the book on it, and uh, let's talk about some trailer trash, because we have another video after this. Yeah, I saw two movies today. See another one tomorrow. Uh, maybe two, actually, more tomorrow. So let's talk about uh, some trailer trash for Venom Let There Be Carnage. Let's see, let's see if we can get to it. All right. Okay, um, and I saw it in IMAX as well, so... Uh, trailer Trash, we can go through some of these. Jackass Forever, um, coming out in February now, I'm still looking forward to it. They're doing a, the trailer a lot. This one I hadn't heard of. Moonfall, this is the new Roland Emmerich film. Um, I guess the moon's, it's like Armageddon, but for the moon. It looks like fun. Um, it has Dennis Quaid and Halle Berry in it. Looks like it might be some fun. Um, the King's Man, I can't wait for this at Christmas. I'm really excited. Um, there's a newer trailer too. Halloween Kills, another newer trailer. I'm s seeing it in a couple weeks is the plan when I can get tickets. Um, they're not on sale yet. Um, No Time to Die. This is a newer trailer. I'm seeing it on Wednesday night. So we're going to have a slightly early review late Wednesday night for that one. Um, really excited, of course. Eternals, can't wait for it. Same trailer, we've gotten a bunch. Dune, um, I'm seeing it. Possibly some special guests um, opening night. I can't wait. Um, Spider-Man No Way Home. Hooray. Uh, cannot wait. Um, hello, Peter. Um, some dude uh, behind me at my screening of uh, Shang-Chi made the best thing he goes... Um, I didn't focus on much of the trailer once it, at the end because I just focusing on the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful eyes of Alfred Molina. Yep. Uh, he's always good. Uh, and then finally Ghostbusters Afterlife. Looking forward to it. Um, coming out right around my birthday. Uh, so that's, that should be fun. And the other ones are for the next movie. Okay. Um, and now, um, is there shawarma? Yes, there is. And spoiler alert. So, um, there is, there's a scene, let's say, with universe altering application, uh, implications. I'm going to say that now. So, uh. I'm gonna spoil it. The rumors are true. Uh, okay. Just wait. Wait, Grant. Go away. Yes, the rumors are Morbius is in the end card. No. Uh, all right. Um, everyone can leave now. All right. Tom Holland's Spider-Man is technically at the end of this movie, which means it is at least tangentially in the MCU. And the reason it is is that, um, as is the Multiverse of Madness, um... At a certain point um, in the post credit, Venom and Eddie Brock are in a hotel. When the shift seems to happen, probably caused by Loki, I'm guessing, um, that turns the room upside down, and then they see the report from the end of Far From Home, revealing that Peter Parker is Spider-Man, although it looked kind of new, and then he kind of looks in like, ooh, he looks tasty. And then it cuts. Uh, they do like a joke, and then it cuts. And there's no scene after the credits, so that's the mid credit. I'm here for it. I am here for it. I want and I want Andy Serkis to do it. So he really improved this time. All right. Um, yeah, that's it. And uh, we will be coming next with another review of a sequel uh, that might surprise some of you, especially since I'm probably the first person to review it. You know, it came out today um, or tonight, rather. All right. Um, yeah. So and then we will um, we'll talk more soon. So uh, that'll be next time. That'll all be next time. And until next time, I'm Grand the Movie TV guy. Um, I see it all. I'm happy to share it with you. I love you all. I appreciate you all. I love you all, Class Dismissed. I love you, 3000. Be kind to one another. Um, if you like this video, um, and you really, you know, unless you, you know, were mad that I spoiled it, but if you like this video, give it a like if you want to, give it a subscribe if you want to, click the bell. I don't know what it does, but apparently um, that's what you're supposed to do. Uh, quite a few of you have since my my kind of goof off LeBray review. It seems funny that the videos I try the least hard on seem to be the ones that do the best. <laughs> like, the only... And I mean that, like, with all sincerity, like the chipmunk video. I, just, I don't know. 
You guys just like hearing me rant or just really like rip apart something, but thanks. I uh, appreciate it. And if you want to find me else for reviews, lists, and other fun stuff, including some uh, films that I um, was a little late to the party on, um, including very soon, uh, I'm doing something really special for um, every day of October for Halloween over there. You can find me on letterbox.com at Grand the Movie TV Guy. Um, let There Be Carnage. Um, and uh, thank you all. Take care. Go see Venom. Let There Be Carnage. It's really good. See you pretty shortly after I post this. Bye.